showing you how to use and program a gyro in Graphical Robot C. A gyro is a sensor that measures the degrees of your turns and the angles so that you can get the, your turns right down to the perfect degrees. And for all of you who have tried turning on Graphical Robot C without a gyro, you'll know how frustrating it is and how random it behaves. Sometimes you go 90, sometimes you go 100. It's annoying. But with a gyro, you can get it right down to the perfect 90 degrees. Alright, so this is the program I use in my everyday turns. It starts the program by resetting the gyro and waiting one second. It does that this so that it starts at zero degrees. So that a 90 degree turn will always be a 90 degree turn. Then moves forward and turns right 90 degrees. And it does this by setting motor one to 50 and then setting motor six to negative 50, which is backwards 50. Then it waits until it turns and until it reaches negative 85. And once it gets to negative 85, it'll stop by using stop on motors. But it will actually reach negative 90 because of the speed and momentum of the motors turning. So that it will actually get to negative 90, which is what I want. Then it will move forward and celebrate. So the only part you really need is this. Now I'll just show you how this looks like on a robot. Yay, so much. Um, this is quite a simple demonstration of how to turn with the gyro. But it's a very good way to turn with the gyro. And it can be used for 45 degrees, for 90 degrees, for 360 degrees. All you have to do is take off a 5 degrees and the momentum will carry it out to the perfect angle. The only problem is that the gyro may drift after a while. So, you can look at my other video on autonomous problems and how to fix it, them to fix this problem. But, it's not always going to happen. Thank you and goodbye.